Hey guys, what's going on? I don't know how this is showing up on my camera right now because I'm really, really, really tired. But I decided to do this product review right now and I'm being a little quiet because my brother is asleep in the room next to me. So today I'm going to be reviewing this product right here. This is the Shea Moisture 100% Pure Shea Oil. This is actually part of the four oils that I discovered upon entering Sally's Beauty Supply at a certain point. And I will show you a picture of that in about a few moments here. But before I do, I just want to give you a bit of information about this particular one right here. This can be found at Sally's Beauty Supply. I don't know anywhere else where I can find this, but I just know that you can find this at Sally's Beauty Supply. It's around $8.99 plus tax. If you have a Sally's Beauty card, it can be significantly less. Unless they didn't apply it, which would suck. I ended up picking this stuff up a very long time ago, and as you can see, I'm pretty much down to right here. But I've had this stuff for a while now, and I've been using it um, mostly in conjunction with other products. I'll explain that process in a moment, but I usually use it with other products, and at one point I did use it by itself. But it pretty much comes in a line of four pure oils that Shea Moisture has released a while ago. It was this oil right here, the Jamaican black castor oil, a flaxseed oil, and Manoi oil. So here's a picture of it. I hope the picture is clear enough for you, but I end up taking a little snapshot of the four oils shown in the store. So here's the photo before I proceed with the review. much what the four oils look like and the biggest one that tends to go out of stock with those is the Jamaican black castor oil one everyone seems to like that one for some reason but I'm not talking about that oil right now I'm talking about this one sorry I really really like this oil it's really nice and it absorbs pretty quickly, but I find that you can get the most out of this stuff if you combine it with your favorite deep conditioner or your favorite conditioner, which is what I do. Oh, and even your leave-in conditioner if you use leave-ins. But um, what I usually do for my hair, well for my hair this stuff is phenomenal, it's pretty good. I usually apply like a little bit at a time here and well I'll get to the packaging in a moment. But I usually apply a little bit to my favorite conditioner, which could be the Tresemme Naturals, as you might have known. Unfortunately, that line's been discontinued, so I'm using Tresemme Botanique right now. But I usually apply a little bit of this stuff to a quarter-sized amount of the Tresemme conditioner as a leave-in. Leave -in. And then on other times, I usually apply it to my favorite deep conditioners. And you guys already know that I love Shea Moisture Deep Conditioners. So whatever deep conditioner from Shea Moisture that I'm using, I go ahead and apply a little bit of this stuff at a time to it before I apply it to sections of my hair. Because it does say head to toe moisturization, so it's not just for your hair, you can also use it for your skin and for the rest of your body. In terms of skin usage, mm, it's not good for my facial skin considering that my facial skin is very oily. So this stuff actually even if I used a pea sized amount for my areas of my skin it made my skin pretty greasy and you know I do not like the greasy look at all I like my face to be matte so this doesn't work out as a good face oil I have yet to use it in my favorite body lotion which is the raw sh which is it the argan oil and raw shea body lotion I almost got that name wrong but you know that's my favorite lotion of all time and I have yet to combine this stuff with that lotion to see how it really works. So I can't speak on how it's useful for the rest of your body. But in terms of facial skin, just make sure that you don't have oily skin. I say this is best if you have dry or mature skin. And by mature skin I mean if you're looking for anti-aging stuff. That'd be good for you. If you have dry skin, that's really good for you. I can't speak on sensitive skin, but if you have oily skin, this might not work for you. The only con that I have about this is the packaging. Um, I do not like this pump thing at all, okay? Surprisingly, it's working right now, and I managed to get some of the product out. But, excuse me, before... I could not get any of this product out. I would keep pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping and then most of the product wouldn't even come out. So I have had to do the following, which is what I'm getting ready to show you. 
I've had to screw the cap off and pour it into my hand. Pour a little bit at a time into my hand in order to use it. I find that that method has been the easiest way for me to use this stuff because the pump sometimes works and sometimes it doesn't. In that case, in case I just showed you, it worked. I'm not sure why because usually I have problems with that pump. But I feel like this should have been put in a um, dropper bottle. Instead of a pump bottle, I really think that they should put this in like a little dropper bottle so that you can take the fill the dropper, take it out, and then drop a few drops of oil into your hand. Because I feel that would be a better way to utilize this oil instead of using a pump that could easily not work. So that's pretty much my only complaint about this stuff. Otherwise, I would gladly purchase again. But I might not, considering that I found another brand of, of um, 100% shea oil. Sorry, I'm still massaging this into my leg here. But I, I did find another brand of shea oil over at the vitamin shop. I don't remember how much that was, but it comes in a way bigger bottle, and I am more interested in trying that. But all in all, I'd be more than happy to try this again. But I highly recommend, if you have dry hair and you just need a bit of moisture like I do of course as you can see if you have dry hair you need a little bit of moisture or you just want to give your favorite conditioners leave-in conditioners or deep conditioners a boost then this is a good product to try you can you can cocktail it as they might say it even says so on the back I'm not gonna read you the label you'll just have to find a bottle and read it yourself but it's really good to cocktail with your favorite styling products your favorite lotions your favorite conditioners for your hair and whatnot really good I think you can also use it for your shampoo too. But that's pretty much all I have to say about this stuff. It's really, really good. And like I say, you can find it at Sally's Beauty Supply. If you know anywhere else where you can find this stuff, let me know in the comments below. Oh, and let me know the prices of, of, the, um, of this bottle if you do find it in a different place. Because I really am interested. If you tried this product before, please, as always, let me know in the comments below how it worked for you. What do you use this stuff for? Do you use it for your face, your body, for your hair? Whatever. Let me know and all that. If you like my review of this product, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Feel free to share the video. Oh, and check out my blog post too. That's going to be posted in the description if you want to read more about what I say about this product here. And, by the way... If you are interested in the content that I put on my blog, feel free to go ahead and follow me on WordPress. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. Because I do put a lot of my product reviews on that blog. So if you're interested, feel free to follow me on WordPress. But as always, I will see you in the next product review. And right now, I need a nap because I've been out all day and I am just, I'm really, really beat. So... I will see you in the next video, and right now I am going to go take a nap, okay? See you later, guys.